Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial on how to create a reset button on your dashboard. One of the questions that comes up a lot during training sessions is how do I make it easy for my end users to reset all the filters they've selected? And one of the things that I usually recommend is that you create a reset button that will clear all the filters in one simple click. Obviously, when it comes to dashboard design, there's a lot of things that we need to consider. So we want to make sure that our dashboards are simple meaning that our target audience should see a simple data story presented in such a way that the most relevant information pops out to them. We also want to make sure that our dashboards are flexible, meaning that we want to provide our end users with the ability to drill down into our data using things like filters and dashboard actions, for example, without overdoing it and affecting the dashboard performance. So essentially, you want to make sure that you add some interactivity to engage your audience, but you don't go over the top. Another very important point to consider when it comes to dashboard design is how intuitive is your dashboard? Can your end users easily navigate it and find the answers to questions that they're looking for? All things considered, a reset button on a dashboard can definitely prevent a confusing situation when it comes to resetting the filters. And I can assure you that your end users will really appreciate it for its simplicity and ease of use. So let's go ahead and see how to create one. The first thing we want to do is jump over to a new sheet and create a calculated field. We're going to name it reset button. And then we're going to give our button a name. So let's call it reset all filters. Let's drag our reset button onto rows. And now we're going to play around with formatting to make it look like an actual button. So the first thing I'll do is I will resize my row, right click on my text, select format. I'm going to increase the font to 15. I'm going to change my alignment to center my text and I'll apply a little bit of shading. Right, so I'm gonna drag this over and now the last step would be to get rid of this ABC placeholder. If I right click on the marks card and select Polygon. That will remove the placeholder from the view. To get rid of these row dividers, we can go back into the same menu, choose Borders, and on the Rows tab for Row Divider, we want to set it to None. Okay? So now we get a nice looking button. So all we have to do now is bring this sheet into our dashboard and apply dashboard filter actions to it. So I'm going to jump over to my sheet six. I'll give it a name, reset button. I'll navigate over to my new dashboard, which does not have the reset button just yet. And I'll walk you through how to add it to your dashboard. The first thing I'll do here is I will bring in a horizontal container. I'm going to drag and drop it in right here. And now I'll bring my reset button in and drop it into this container. I'm going to remove my label or my title, sorry, by hiding the title. And I'm just going to drag this over to fill the space. I can also do this, fit entire view, right? The only thing that we need to do now is apply dashboard filter actions to this sheet. So we'll navigate over to dashboard actions. We're going to create a filter action Let's give it a name. For your source sheets, you want to reference your reset button. For the run action on option, we want to select select here because we want to be able to run our action and clear the filters once our end user selects the actual sheet. For our target sheets, we want to make sure that everything in our dashboard is checked off except for the reset button. And in the section here, it's important to choose show all values. So clearing the selection will show all values and that will allow us to actually reset all the filters back to defaults. Now to make this work, we manually have to reference the filters that we want to reset. 
So we're going to choose this option here, selected fields, and we're going to add our filters manually. Right, so we've created our button, we dropped it into our dashboard, and we applied some dashboard filter actions to our reset button. So now let's go ahead and see how it works. I'm going to randomly apply some filters here. And now what I want to do is I want to reset all of these filters back to their default. So I'm going to click on reset all filters button and everything should go back to its original state. There we go. We were able to make it work. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.